This week, the Cabela's National Walleye Tour heads to Mobridge, South Dakota for the final stop of the 2016 season. This is Championship Week, and only the best of the best have qualified to fish here. We've got more than $300,000 on the line, including two brand new Ranger boats. There's also the race for the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year. Competition starts now on the Cabela's National Walleye Tour. Day number one from Mulberry, South Dakota, Lake Oahe. And you know what? The wind is doing exactly what these anglers thought it would be. It's a little bit breezy. Now, here's the deal. This is a three-day event. Normally, we fish two. You want to think it's an average event? It's not. We're going to crown a champion. we got two Ranger boats to give away. Our Angler of the Year race comes to a head right here. Can they handle the nerves? Let's get out there and find out. You know, this is a, basically the Missouri River. I mean, it's a big body of water and there's just endless structure, creek arms, uh, different points, trees. I mean, it is crazy, it's, you know, how much uh, fishing habitat and structure there is to fish out here. Got a couple different weather systems coming in while we're out on the water. Um, tomorrow it looks like we're gonna have some huge south-southeast winds with some storms mixed in and then the next day turn into north-northeast. So, I mean, we've got just a, a big turnaround and it's gonna make it challenging. My plan is to keep my lines in the water as long as I can, go through as many numbers as I can, and hopefully, you know, I come up with a limit of fish. We've got 85 boats on hand this week. That's 85 pros and 85 co-anglers, each looking to get a shot at their respective title and the pile of cash that comes with it. Anglers are fishing for their best five fish on each day. This is a no-cull event, and that will surely play into angler strategy. The biggest challenge is your slot fish. I mean, trying to get the right slots, 18s, 19 inch slots, then you're gonna have to get lucky and get those overs. Well, I think the biggest challenge out here is the weather and the wind. Um, you know, there's big runs involved, uh, so you gotta fish smart and plan the run right. Um, that's gonna be the biggest challenge. Moving on to the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year. It's a tight race going into the championship, and Minnesota's Chris Gilman is on top with a slim lead over the rest of the field. You know, I have to be a little bit conservative, and, and it's kind of funny uh, that I'd play conservative when there's a Ranger boat on the line and all that money, but that trophy means so much to me. I, I believe my first goal both days are just gonna be a, a, to get my, a limit in my box. I'll gamble on the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh, but until I get a limit, I'm. I'm not much of a gambler. It's, it's always how I've been, and it, it usually helps me. Sitting right behind Chris Gilman in the race for the Angler of the Year is Lindenhurst, Illinois' Bill Sutton. We're day out here at Lake Oahe, Mobridge, South Dakota, day one of the championship. Gonna be making a little bit of a run. Uh, weather's supposed to kick up wind-wise. It's been a tough pre-fish, but we're gonna give her heck. Um, sitting in a good place for Angler of the Year this year and uh, hope to bring it home over the next two days. At 7 a.m., the tournament director began releasing boats onto Lake Oahe, thus beginning competition for the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Championship. We'll begin tournament coverage with the pro from Stevens Point, Wisconsin, Jason Shakira. Uh, Lake Oahe has been good to me over the years. I've done done well here and I'm, I'm looking forward to another good year. The system changes constantly. You know, the water goes up, the water comes down, the bait's different, the time of the year's different, so a lot of changes being made. Um, it takes a little little while to get used to find how to find the fish here and that's, that's the hardest thing. Well, day one is uh, it's really good so far. It's 9.15 and uh, we landed right on top of the fish. They, they were right where I left them a few days ago and nobody else is here. I can't believe it that nobody found these fish, but um, first fish was a little snag in the trees here. I'm pulling some deep trees. First fish I caught was 15 and a quarter and I told Tom I'm, I'm gonna keep the first one over 15 just to get something in the box. And, and then the next one was 21 and a half, kept that. And then a 27 and a half and kept that, of course. And uh, we've caught about three or four little ones, uh, you know, in that 10 to 13 inch range. And then we just boated a 24 that I had to release because we can only have two over 20. And I've already kept my two over 20. So that's, 
That's the deal with slot tournaments. That's the chances you take. You keep the 21 and you catch 24. Too bad, throw it back. So the good news is uh, the fish are here and, and they're biting. And it's just a matter of time now to get the unders. That's what I'm after. 19 and a half is the goal. So keep plugging along. We're just getting started here on Lake Oahe. Stay with us. There's a lot of tournament coverage ahead from day one of the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Championship. For schedules and registration, visit nationalwalleytour.com. The FS Multi-Species Series from Ranger. With a host of pioneering features in every model, it's a revolutionary leap forward. Coupled with Evan Root E-Tech's unrivaled performance and up to 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance, the world of fishing will never be the same. Experience the unparalleled ride and water-crushing strength of every FS hull. More than raising the bar, they're setting a whole new standard. Power your Ranger with Evan Root E-Tech. Introducing a revolutionary concept in outboards, a choice. Now with the Evan Rude E-Tech G2, you can choose unrivaled performance, superior fuel economy, and the cleanest combustion outboard on the planet. Choose from hundreds of color combinations to perfectly match your boat. And choose five years or 500 hours with no dealer scheduled maintenance. Experience the power of choice at chooseyouretech.com. Everybody knows somebody that just seems to have things go wrong around him. And for me, it's my good buddy Z when he heads to the water. It's like a black cloud follows this guy around. He runs out of gas, locks his keys in the car, or worse, has a flat tire coming to him from the water. But old Z's a pretty sharp guy. He relies on Boat US in those situations where something goes wrong. Boat US has the finest low-cost boat insurance and the largest fleet of towboats ready to assist you 24-7. Visit BoatUS.com. Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Cabela's, it's in your nature. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Lucas Oil, it works. Mobridge, South Dakota, a quiet little town founded in 1906 along the banks of the Missouri River and Lake Oahe. This is walleye country. We'll get right back into championship coverage with Canton, Michigan's Ed Stahusky. Wow. They said the really strong stuff isn't going to pick up for some time. <laughs> it's crazy. Fighting winds gusting near 35 miles per hour, Ed and his co-angler Tyler Nickel are targeting deep fish alongside the bridge pilings, a popular pattern here on Lake Oahe. Day one, Lake Oahe and Mobridge, South Dakota, the championship. Uh, uh, fighting some prairie winds right now, uh, fishing some uh, deep structure, these bridge pilings. Uh, uh, right now, we're sitting on six fish already. It's almost 11 o'clock, so uh, we're looking for a couple more big upgrades and uh, gonna try to get in early. It's pretty windy, so. Uh, got about a 42 mile run from from where we took off this morning so hopefully uh hopefully you can get them now and and get back quick how far back are you i'm right here bill sutton started his day chasing that the leader a walleye? In the lucas oil uh, angler of the year race now it's midday and he only has three fish in the box 
He's finally starting to put something together, but with the long, windy run back to way any faces, Bill is running out of time. Yes, indeed. Damn straight, that's yeah! a nice walleye. Yeah! Nice. It's about quarter to 12 here. Um, you know, I'm a grinder. I was ready to leave the area that we're fishing. Uh, we just made one little adjustment, popped a nice 20 and a half inch fish. It's just barely over, but it's enough to make me stay. And you know, this year, it's been a grinding year. I mean, I, I've ground out and had confidence in my spots all year. It's paid off and needed to pay off for another two days. We're going to stay and we're going to make a few more passes. We are going to have to allow ourselves plenty of time to get in with the weather and the waves and everything, but I'm glad we stuck it out. Got to have confidence in what you're doing. We made an adjustment. It worked. Game on. Back in Mobridge for the day one weigh-in, we'll head right to the scales with Chip Lear and current Lucas Oil Angler of the Year leader, Chris Gilman. Boy, we fished hard and we went to great spots and we caught a billion fish, a bunch of catfish, northerns, smallmouth bass, crappies, everything you could possibly think of, and a bunch of walleyes, just not the right one. So I'm going to have to uh, scratch my head and I never wish bad luck on any competitors, but I'm actually hoping that like Bill Sutton and those guys just didn't have the best day either. Bill Sutton struggled on day one. Coming in with just four fish, he weighed 777 for 35th place. Ed Stahusky fared better. He brought in a limit weighing 1348, and that was good enough for third overall, and unofficially puts him in the lead for the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year going into day two. Akaska, South Dakota's Chad Schilling caught five for 1385, and that was good enough for second. But it was Jason Shakurit standing on top with a five fish limit weighing in at 1584, giving him a big two pound lead going into the second day of competition. Hold on, get that down here. We got a good one we want to take a look at. Everything went perfect. Didn't, didn't lose any fish, didn't, you know, didn't, nothing went wrong. So hopefully we can reproduce that again tomorrow and uh, possibly Friday take this thing home. Here's a look at the Cabela's leaderboard and the top 10 at the end of day one. Check out the complete list of standings at nationalwalleytour.com. Coming up, we'll get right into day two coverage from Lake Oahe and the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Tour Championship. Arctic Ice loves the outdoors. Wherever your next adventure takes you and your cooler, use Arctic Ice to keep your food and drinks cold and dry. It's also great for keeping live wells cool, so fish and bait stay healthy. You can even keep frozen food or game frozen for days. Cold or frozen, Arctic Ice has got you covered. Three brands of Arctic Ice let you choose the temperature you want for your cooler. You never have to buy ice again. Watch the videos at arctic-ice.com. Check out our new Chill & Brew Team Sport Colors, great for tailgating. Remember, it's not just ice, it's Arctic Ice. For anglers who want it all, the new HDS-3, a revolutionary step forward in simultaneous chirp sonar and structure scan HD sonar imaging, clearer views, faster interface, multi-touch screen, key pan operation, and total boat control. Plus, with versatile networking and go-free wireless sync of maps, software, and apps, HDS-3 is the ultimate fish finding system. Wow. Find, navigate, dominate with Lowrance. Not all water is created equal. It's why Stratus builds multi-species boats to take on the pressure of the rough stuff while reinforcing comfort, confidence, and convenience. Inside, the specially engineered construction is designed for an exceptional ride and superb handling features. The Stratus Excursion Series. The right quality, the right performance, all at the right price. Forty-nine million Americans struggle to put food on the table. Please consider donating a portion of your hunt this season to help feed those in need. Find out more at ramtrucks.com. There are two kinds of people who fish. 
those who simply fish, and those who fish like pros. To tell them apart, just look at their engines. Pros choose Mercury because nothing beats a Mercury Pro XS when it comes to hole shot, acceleration, top speed, and reliability. And no one beats a Mercury dealer when it comes to service and support. Mercury Pro XS, the top choice of pros and those who fish like a pro. It's good to have Mercury behind you. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Guts. Glory. Ram. Evan Rood. Proven power. Proven reliability. And by Boat US. Take us with you on the water. Welcome back to Mobridge, South Dakota. Overnight, a big storm system moved through, dropping heavy rain across the area. In its wake, competitors will once again face high winds, with gusts predicted at 40 miles per hour in some parts. Here's a look at the Cabela's leaderboard going into day two. There's a lot of big, big fish in the system, and a couple of guys have it figured out. I know some guys are fishing deep woods, some guys are using jigging wraps, and um, some guys are just trolling, you know, shad wraps and stuff, kind of like we predicted, but there will be a lot of flip-flopping going on. One five-pounder in anyone's box can shoot them right up in the top ten, right up in the first place. Wind had a big factor in my program yesterday. I couldn't stay on the fish. Um, sounds like it's going to blow again today. Um, not quite as hard as yesterday, but hopefully we can stay on the fish today and pick up, pick up some uh, more weight. Weather's always a factor in walleye fishing here at day two of our championship on Lake Oahe. We're looking at a 180 degree wind change. It's gonna get breezy again this afternoon, just like it did on day number one. But the anglers are pretty confident that this is not gonna change their bite. And one guy that really hopes that that happens is Jason Shakur. He's leading by about two pounds, but right on his tail, local pro, Chad Schilling, a couple of young bucks right behind him, Ed's the Husky, Joe Okada, all racing for that first place spot heading into day number three because we only take 10 boats into tomorrow's competition. So that is going to get to be a really interesting race. Our Lucas Oil Angler of the Year race, we don't know if that gets decided today or tomorrow. With Jason Shkurit, who came into this tournament in seventh place, now leading, and Ed's the Husky, who came in third, still right there at the top of the list, it's going to be really fun today. Fishing the bridge piling seems to be one of the dominant patterns this week, but you've got to find the right pillar at the right time. Getting right into day two coverage, we'll catch up with Michigan's Ed Stahusky. Day, day two, uh, an hour and a half into it, and still haven't had a first keeper bite. Or, uh, fish might have repositioned on the structure. We're gonna bop along the, the pilings here until we find one that might be producing uh, or if we don't get anything going here we're gonna we're gonna hightail it to another spot so uh, we'll see with Ed on the move we'll check in with the pro in second place South Dakota's own Chad Schilling come on Chad and his partner are also on the pillars and struggling against the wind Well, just jigging pillars here. We're, uh, you know, it's something that I have to try. I've won a lot of money doing it. I, I check it every day. And the problem is with this, the pillars this year in general is they hold a few fish, not very many. I didn't practice here at all because I knew if you took them out of here, there wouldn't be any left. Well, there's been four or five boats here already this morning. So we, uh, we've had a couple bites, got thumped, but could have been smallmouth, could have been about anything. We, uh, we've yet to put a fish in the boat and we're just working up and down the pillar. That's about it. It's not really a science. Um, using uh, pro tackle, pro jigs, um, and just, you know, slapping them in the face. Uh, using a couple of the new Berkeley prototype jigging wraps, um, using some jigging wraps. But the main thing is just slapping them in the face with it. Um, you. Uh, you stay busy and every once in a while you drop it in one's face. So nothing, uh, like I said, nothing yet, but the day's young. There's one. Yeah. 
Get him. Holy oh, cow, nice timing, boss. Oh. Throw him yeah. in the box. Or you measure him first, I guess, but. That's fish number one for Chad. A good start under challenging conditions. Stay with us. Coming up, we'll close out day two and find out who will go on to fish the final day of the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Tour Championship from Lake Oahe and Mobridge, South Dakota. Triton Boats, the long leader in performance, fishability, and quality for bass anglers and for coastal fishermen, now offers the Fish Hunter Series, the best walleye boats anywhere. Big, deep boats built to take on rough water season after season. The 216 and the 186 boast wider transoms, cavernous storage, the biggest live wells in class, and Triton's famed lifetime limited warranty. Go ahead, make it tough on the competition. Visit your Triton dealer today. You know, one thing you worry about these days is ethanol in your outboard. One product I use is Lucas Oil Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner. And when you use a bottle of this, basically is the ability to protect and safeguard your motor. This five and a quarter ounce bottle will treat 25 gallons of fuel. It's perfect for marine applications. Lucas Oil Safeguard Ethanol Fuel Conditioner and Stabilizer. It's what I'm pouring into my fuel tank to help protect my investment in my big motor. Available at Cabela's. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. For years, they've quietly taken you where the fish are, but now the silence is about to break. With the incredible new iPilot Link, your Minn Kota and Hummingbird can communicate with each other, so you can hold on a spot like an electronic anchor, record and return to waypoints and paths, follow any Lake Master depth contour, and more, all automatically and all from your Hummingbird or the Link remote. They talk, and you'll be speechless. The Cabela's National Walleye Tour is brought to you in part by Mercury Outboards, Minn Kota Trolling Motors, anywhere, anytime, Triton Boats, we take America fishing, and by Arctic Ice, we put the cool in cooler. For 75 boats, which hold 75 pros and 75 co-anglers, 150 fishermen, their last day for the 2016 season across a National Walleye Tour stage will be today. Because what are we here to do? We're here to determine what 10 anglers, what 10 pros and co's get to move on to the final day. Plus, we just might find out who our Lucas Oil Angler of the Year is by today's fishing. Stick around. The first two days of the championship have been anything but easy. With winds gusting to near 40 miles per hour, even if you were on the fish, the high winds made boat control difficult. Heading to the scales, Mobridge, South Dakota's own Wade Wiles weighed five for just 439 on day one, but he regrouped on day two, sacking up a big time 1835. I tell you what, I found out that the, the championship for the NWT was going to be right here in Mulbridge. I had to fish the, the trail this year just to be able to fish my home waters. Um, the last time they were here was in, in 2014, and I was fortunate enough to win that tournament. Um, what a kickstart, I mean, for my fishing career to win a, win a professional event like this. Wisconsin's Robert Blosser, the 2013 Lucas Oil Angler of the Year winner, locked up fourth position with a two-day total of 22.78. Uh, really looking forward to going tomorrow because there's no wind in the forecast. So I'm anticipating three and a half, maybe four hours of fishing time tomorrow. So things could get really interesting. 7.27 pounds for him yesterday. Despite not weighing a limit on either day, Kevin McCoy, the Cabela's pro from Isle, Minnesota, is near the top of the leaderboard, and he'll have a shot tomorrow for a Ranger boat. 15.72, that gives you two-day total of 22.99, moves you into third place, and you are partying with the big boys on day three as it sits right now. I love it, I love it. 
the other part that I get like, like about this is I can fish the third day, so maybe tomorrow I'll get a limit. Exactly. Well, you're working your way closer. I'm getting three the first day, four the second day. I'm going to get five fish tomorrow. Cole from Iron Mountain, Michigan. He weighed 11.05. That had him in seventh place when he left here this morning. This is pro Don Locke. Matt Hinkin from Plymouth, Minnesota is his co-angler. Looks like we got another nice basket of fish. Four fish in the basket today for 12.05 pounds. Don Locke moves himself into second place. Fifth place for you, Matt. Is to be at the NWT at the big stage right now, this is just awesome, and I get to play tomorrow. This is, I, I can't say enough about it, man. I'm happy. Got in there, we're ready to go. Tournament leader Jason Shakirat right, weighed 1584 on day one. He's at the scales with another two. five fish limit. 14.16 pounds, 30 pounds even for Jason Shakirat. You know, I think I got most things figured out. I got a pretty good lead going in, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. I've uh, been here before, and. I've never really finished the race, you know, and, and if everything goes as planned tomorrow, I'll, I'll get it done, so looking forward to it. With a nearly six pound lead over the rest of the field, this tournament is now Jason's to lose. Here's a look at the rest of the top 10. On the co-angler side, we've got a much closer race with Tyler Nickel on top with 22.51. Ed Stahusky finished out the day in 11th locking up the Lucas Oil Angler of the Year for 2016. Point. Only three people have ever received this award, and they are quite distinguished anglers. But in 2016, hot off an 11th place finish here at this championship is our 2016 Lucas Oil Angler of the Year, Ed Stahusky. Put it together for him, everybody. Holy man. Ed, look at that. <laughs> You gotta be jacked, man. You are the best of the best throughout the entire 2016 season. I, I can't believe it. It's it's such an honor. Uh, it, it means so much that, uh, that you know, the words can't describe it. You had a fantastic year. You go to Lake Erie, you end up in the top 10, eighth place there. I think 13th at Winnebago, 35th at Green Bay. You got a little bit nervous, but you come in here in third, you finish in 11th overall, and look what you're holding. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you know, without the sponsors and with my friends, family, I, I couldn't do it. So uh, it's, it's, it's just an awesome accomplishment. It was a tight race all season. Here's a look at the final standings for the most prestigious award in tournament walleye fishing. We'll be back on Lake Oahe next week as we wrap up the final day of the 2016 Cabela's National Walleye Tour Championship and crown a champion from Mobridge, South Dakota. And not only do we have great, great fishing for walleye, we have smallmouth bass, we've got northern, we've got, you know, any type of fish that you would want to go after in, in fresh water, we've got it out here. For travel information, please visit TravelSouthDakota.com. To learn how you can become a part of the Cabela's National Walleye Tour, go to NationalWalleyeTour.com or visit the National Walleye Tour Facebook page. This has been a Carico TV production. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.